Welcome back everyone to Rose where today we are going to be building in some details for the Sea Ghost and we'll begin with the capstan which I think we're going to place right here. Let's see if we figure out the best way to build this. What if we what if we try it like that with some fences to go around how's that of course it really doesn't rotate but you can't have everything so we'll have the capstan there and the anchor hmm put the anchor here. Now we need something to represent the connection going from the capstan to the anchor and then the anchor going down like that. And of course what are we going to make the anchor out of? Now iron of course is a good thing to consider. Can I get an iron block from anything that I have. Well, I've got 60 iron ingots for me. I guess I can make an iron block from that. We'll start with getting an iron block and that could represent our anchor since unfortunately we don't have an anchor block. And how about some... Hmm. What if I try to use some iron bars or is that just going to become a complete fiasco if I attempted that? Actually, all right, let's problem with being dominated with a capstan there. Is that just there? All right, there we go. And if we could just rub an anchor right there. And, ooh. <laughs> well, it does have the funny result of <laughs> looking like it's <laughs> connected on the side of the ship like that. But, there isn't much I can do about that. Hmm. Well, I guess I have to temporarily do this so that I can put the. Yes. Well, okay. Actually, that would actually make it easier for me to put it up at least. Now, let me get this, and the water should quickly fill that in, and all will be well. Good. Actually, let's see how it looks from a distance first. And then we can worry about the other stuff. Mm. <laughs> uh, Alright. Then... I don't want to put it there. Instead, I'll just have to put it on one of the regular sides. Move the anchor! That looks a lot better. Now, it still looks a little bit funny here, but not nearly as funny as the previous one did. I still have to remove that little bit up there. So that could be our anchor there and the rope leading to it. It'd be nice if we had something like rope in Minecraft, but unfortunately we don't have everything. But that should take care of the anchor there, except for Okay, that's good. Except, of course, that we still need to connect to here. Yeah, that's not going to be looking perfect, but... May I see what other people have done at some point or the other in order to... Oops. Connect a ship to the capstan. Uh, with that. Oh well. Let's get that off and yeah unfortunately things don't connect very well when you're dealing with that. Oh well. That'll have to do. Actually it looks so awful that I think it won't do. I'll just have to pretend there's something there and deal with that. Just have this go up 
that high and that'll be it because I don't have any good way wait I have a feeling if you had a lead, you have to tie it up to an animal. Well, just thinking, if you had a draft animal con next to the capstan, I'm sure some ships did that, it might be possible to do it, but I don't know, this doesn't sound like a, the type of ship that would use draft animals over there. I don't think a lead would connect without being attached to an animal. You I don't think you could attach a lead between two different blocks or anything like that. So it would be nice if you tripwire? Mm. Tripwire will go between two locations. Yeah. The trouble is you can't put a tripwire next to a fence post. So that means I'll have to put one here and oh yeah, but the tripwire entity there just doesn't look right in this position. Yeah, I think I'll just skip that idea and just leave what I currently have. Unless, of course, I come up with a better idea later. But that'll take care of the... Oh, no, no. We need the... There is one more thing that we can use. Actually, I wasn't exactly too sure whether I wanted that to be dark or light. I think I am going to make this light. Leave the center of the capstan as dark. But this section light. Good. Now that should give me yeah eight dark oak left. And then what I'm going to do is use the dark oak up here. And how am I going to do this? This is one of those times where it would really come in handy if I. had some ooh, uh, it'd really be handy if I had some scaffolding but it's not out in this version if you know about and maybe just one more up like that there you go well let's see how ridiculous it looks but Oh, I could just jump in here, right? It's not like I'm going to take any fall damage when jumping into the water. All right, let's have a look at what's up there. And mm, <laughs> well, <laughs> is nobody expecting Minecraft? Well, maybe it'll look. Slightly less ridiculous if I fill it in slightly. I think that looks a little bit better. Mm, except that I think I would want to connect that last little bit up there slightly better. Just put that right there. Maybe that'll look better. And if it does, I will call the forecastle complete. Assuming I can get that block off without dying from asphyxiation. There you go. Yeah, I think I think that will do. Now it means it's time to go to the quarter deck. For the quarter deck, of course, we're going to be needing the tiller. And the tiller, we got to do something similar to what we did. 
it up there, in which case we'll only have one section of fence. Oh, that'll be too short. So we'll say that this is our tiller for doing that, and the tiller then will have to go down below a bit. And head down like that. Or probably another step down like that. Good. And then we could have this go out to the is all right this is the hmm. interesting we're not taking in water despite the or is that the deck right there okay let me ah that's why because that's the water line right there all right good because that means this is where we could have the tiller attached to the rudder then, right? And go down like this. And then we'll have a rudder outside just above the water line. Is that good or should it be below the water line? The configuration I had before just won't work, so I moved the tiller back by one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to curve in the back of the ship so that this shaft here eventually goes straight down into the water. So I need to curve the ship so it goes one, two, three in at the bottom of the ship. Now I want on this deck, on the main deck and on the quarter deck, they'll be back here, but in the hold we'll curve inside and I think that'll be better here. Let me check here. Yeah, this will go down here. And the reason for that is because if I had the tiller shaft going out this way, of course, you won't be able to move it back and forth, and you won't be able to turn the ship and all that fun stuff. All right, so here we are. So we need the... Where the ship go like that good now this is hmm it has stairs there right I had that stiff be oh because it's going in slightly there all right yeah that goes in slightly there and this is going to have to go in a great deal so I think we'll have this can be oh no no because Right, yeah, we can do it. Right, we can do it like that, which means that this right here can go like this and like this. Hmm. Somehow I managed to hit the wrong spot. No, yeah, maybe that was the right spot. There you go, and we'll have to reinsert this anyway to make it look right. Mm, how about if we do it like that and like that? Okay, much better. In fact, we'll even do it like that. Good, now we can bring in the ship. this oh, and just get the rest of this down here and of course down into the bilges there's the updated profile to the ship now we just have to see whether or not the tiller is able to get all the way down there and connect to what could look at some facsimile of a rudder the only way I'm going to be 100% sure that I have the line right is to do this. There we go, and 
and now rebuild it knowing that what's in the back there is going to be exactly where I want it, want it right? Let's see how this looks. Well, yep, all right, there is my rudder or some facsimile thereof. Hmm. Well, maybe not. How about Are you stairs for this? Mm. Well, for now, I'll use some of the oak I have, and if I like the results, then I'll probably make some new stairs. But the question is, yeah. Yeah. But they're very definitely have to replace that with dark oak. What I don't like is that it is looks porous, and that's probably not a good idea for a rudder. You, I, I would think you want something that looks better than so. I was thinking maybe this. There you go. Still not perfect, but I think it'll do. It'd be nice if I had granite available for this, but fortunately that's not going to be available to 1.14. How about a profile like that instead? Yeah. Alright. I think I like that better. Good. So that will be our rudder. So that gives us our tiller and our rudder. So that takes care of the quarter deck. And the, the quarter deck and the forecastle. Anything else that we need to do for this episode? The only thing that I can think of for this episode would be going right here. And this will be the sea ghost. And we could put that. That'd be nice if we had another way to write it, or if we could increase the font or something like that, but that will have to do. So let's just go and do that on the other side. Good! And I think that would be a nice place to end this episode. Next time, you'll still have to worry about the cabins below. And maybe even think about the rigging. Well think about it might be the right word. I don't think we'll have time to do the rigging next time, but at least we want to see about the cap, about the below cap cabins, the cabins here and here, and then below on the hold level, and see what we could do with those. But, that'll be for our next episode of Piney Plays Minecraft, Wellstopia.